All right. Uh, so this is my boss. Well, he's a cardboard cut cutout of my boss, but um, we made him for a, and then we brought him on the underground and took him to our Christmas party. Uh, and you might not be able to see it now because he's so far back, but he is actually almost two and a half meters tall. So let's me start my presentation. Hey, uh, my name is Elise uh, and I work at a company called Bue. The picture you can see here is actually from the underground when we brought him to our Christmas party. Um, yeah, so today I am standing in the lab at my work and this is where it all started. This is uh, where we started to make the cardboard cutout. It all started when we, mo we moved our labs. So before we had a small lab and then we wanted to expand. And when it was done, we had an opening party. And at this opening party, obviously we had a ribbon cutting ceremony. Gotta have a ribbon cutting ceremony when you have an opening. Um, and a couple of days before, before this opening ceremony, a couple of my colleagues and I, we decided that we wanted to make some fun stuff for the, for the opening. Uh, and one of the things we wanted to make was a cardboard cutout of our boss, just in case he couldn't make it. So at least we would have him there. Um, and we didn't have a lot of time, so we divided off the things we needed to do. Uh, and I got started on Photoshopping the head of our boss onto a guy with a lab coat because this is our lab and we needed, or we wanted to have him in a lab coat. Uh, so we did that. We have a big printer at our, uh, at our company. And so the problem was we didn't really know how to use it properly, especially not the scaling. So our first attempt, ooh, sorry, turned out like this. Not quite life-size, right? Uh, the problem was we ran out of paper. So for the lab opening, we, we just had to run with it. So we built a small version um, and it was, it was pretty fun. And some, sorry. Um, and we made like a rig for him to stand on. And we had this old uh, robot vacuumer that somebody had left at the office just because it wasn't working. So they figured we could like strip it for parts. So we took like the wheels and the motors from it to use that to drive him around. Uh, and we also made the rig and we're just using some AA batteries for the power. Uh, for, the, uh, for controlling him, we're using a microprocessor. We're using an ESP. 8266, which is a fairly cheap microprocessor. And the good thing about it is that it's got Wi-Fi. And that is what we're using to connect uh, to, uh, to drive him. So we're just using our phones to drive him. Uh, and this is what it looks like. So you just connect to the Wi-Fi that we set up as an access point, uh, put in the access code, which in our case is just 0000, but it stops people from Access, ag, it stops some people from accessing it. Um, so we don't have too many people controlling him. And then you get to the menu and this is what you see. So this is obviously in Norwegian, uh, but he can pretty much drive forward, backwards, left, right, and then attack. And when he attacks, he stops. So I'll just show you a bit that he can drive forwards. And I think his backwards is a bit buggy, but, and then he can turn a bit and then attack, and then he stops. Um, yeah. And this was what he looked like for a lab opening night. This was supposed to be a video, but I cannot get it to run. So we're just showing it as a picture. Uh, and we had him at our party and we drove him around and it was a lot of fun. And since our boss didn't show up, it was good we made him because at least he had a representative at our party. Uh, and since people liked him, we thought this was fun and we wanted to, to actually make him more life-size. Uh, and the next event that we had coming up that we knew about was our office Christmas party. And what better place to, put, uh, to take him? Uh, so uh, we went back to our lab. We uh, tried our printer again, still not, sure about the scale so we tried 200 percent this time and 
He is big. <laughs> um, and we did some more tweaks. We had to add some more support uh, because he's so big now that uh, just one one plank would not hold him up. Uh, and he's also leaning a bit backwards, so he won't tip forward when we drive him. <laughs> um, yeah, and we also make some made some tweaks to the app because the version you saw now is the version that he has now. But before, uh, the font was pretty, uh, pretty bad, and you couldn't really. It wasn't very accessible, so we just made some tweaks. However, it's not a perfect product. And then. We brought him to our Christmas party. <laughs> uh, and it was a lot of fun. People had fun dancing with him. After a while, we had to put him a bit aside because uh, he's made out of cardboard. He can't really take that much. And he's also tall, so he couldn't go through doors. Good thing that the event was in a big room. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, I got to say, like, the thing I found most fun was when other people were driving him and just log on to the Wi-Fi and just take the control from them because uh, it's just the last input that he drives upon. So uh, it was hilarious to see the expression of people who uh, who couldn't understand why he wasn't driving the way they wanted him to. But while this is all fun and stuff, it also like adds value to our company, not monetary value that you can actually sell him, but it creates value as an it enforces the value that we have in our company that we really care about the people and that my company lets us build something like this. Uh, and it's really fun and that my boss lets me <laughs> let me have a cardboard cut out of him because that shows just how awesome he is. And that is one thing. The other thing is that just exploring new stuff, learning new things. I have not done IoT for a long time and this really pushes my, my limits and I get to grow a lot. Uh, and yeah, it's really, really fun. Uh, just hanging out with my colleagues and getting to know them and spending some time with them. Uh, so yeah, if you have any questions about it, please, message me on Slack uh, and I'll be answering it there. Um, yeah, that was me, thank you.